Often, people of color are left out of history and don't get the recognition they deserve. Today, I wanted to dedicate a little time to a few men and women who helped pave the way for people of color in STEM. This list doesn't come close to encompassing the many contributions from many people of color to tech fields, but we must start somewhere. To get the ball rolling, we begin with Annie Jean Easley. Easley was an American computer scientist, mathematician, and rocket scientist. She was a leading member of the team which developed software for the Centaur rocket stage and was one of the first African Americans to work at NASA. On February 1, 2021, a crater on the moon was named after Easley by the International Astronomical Union. Next, we have Jerry Lawson. Dubbed the father of the video game cartridge, he is best known for leading the group that developed the first interchangeable commercial video game cartridge and created the Fairchild Channel F video game system. In 1980, Lawson left Fairchild to start his own company, Videosoft, one of the first and earliest black-owned game design companies. The company created software for the Atari 2600, which popularized the cartridge Lawson and his team developed. Next, we look at Kimberly Bryant. Bryant is an African-American electrical engineer who founded a nonprofit organization that focuses on providing technology and computer programming education to girls of color. This company is called Black Girls Code. Black women make up 3% of the workforce in the tech industry, and Black Girls Code fights to change and improve this percentage for the better by building pathways for young women of color to embrace the current tech marketplace as builders and creators through an introduction to skills in computer programming and technology. Lastly, and definitely not least, we have Warren M. Washington. Washington is an American atmospheric scientist and expert in climate research. His most significant work has been in computer-assisted climate modeling that helps measure increasing greenhouse gas emissions in the Earth's atmosphere. He has been an advisor to the federal government during the terms of four U.S. presidents and was awarded the National Medal of Science in 2010 by President Barack Obama. Washington has also been recognized for his efforts to encourage minority youth to pursue careers in atmospheric science. Excellence comes in all shapes, sizes, and colors. Thank you for watching.